वेलकम बैक टू द ड्राइवर्स हब आई एम सोम सराफ एंड दिस इज द बी एम डब्ल्यू एस ड्राइव ट्वेंटी आई इट्स नॉट फोर व्हील ड्राइव बट इट एंश्योर ग्रेट ड्राइविंग डायनामिक्स एंड इट्स वेरी प्रैक्टिकल डेफिनेटली मोर प्रैक्टिकल देन अ मोर सीरीज जी एल ए एंड दिस इज द क्रेम डाला क्रेम ऑफ द सेगमेंट विच इट कम्पीट्स इन हाउ एवर फॉर अ वॉपिंग फिफ्टीन लैक्स चीपर यू कैन गेट योर सेल्फ वन ऑफ दीज अ फोक्स वैगन टिगवान फोर मोशन एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स अप द क्वेश्चन is the price difference really worth it welcome to upshift my name is babni baswani so now let's get this out of the way yes these two technically aren't direct competitors in terms of price but in terms of dimensions engines power and tech these two go to 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 the tiguan is the cheaper out of the two and this is a classic vw move take the formula of a more expensive product give the same features give it a less fancy logo and less leather you have something that can undercut all of the luxurious rivals by a huge margin but let's get an understanding of the dimensions first when it comes to dimensions the tiguan is bigger than the x1 in every aspect but you can't deny that the bmw x1 is the more sportier looking one out of the two and one thing that is a big visual upgrade for me are these amazing looking diamond cut wheels it is a very nice thing to look at compared to the plain old wheels that you have on the tiguan and overall the bmw is the sleeker looking car out of the two and this is not even the m sport variant the m sport variant gets bigger bumpers up front and a more aggressive design overall and this looks more of something like a hatchback which has been turned into a crossover rather than the conventional design language that the Tiguan has which is more towards an SUV rather than a crossover now when it comes to the looks the Tiguan isn't the flashiest but it does make its presence felt in the streets i love how easily it blends in traffic but still has that presence to be felt on the street and when it comes to the looks it comes with frankfurter 18 inch rims but in my opinion i would have wanted a 19 inch rims with diamond cut alloys because those look really nice on this car and when it comes to the front fascia you get these uh DRL IQ lights and instead of that gopping face that you've got in uh, the BMW you've got this really sleek front grille with the new VW logo So the Tiguan is literally longer, wider and even taller than the BMW X1 and this really helps it out in terms of cabin space and especially in terms of boot space. The X1 doesn't have an electronically operated boot and once you open it the X1 has a 505 liter boot space and if the electronic boot wasn't enough the Tiguan comes equipped with the kick to open function and a massive 615 liter boot. Jump into the back seat and the Tiguan feels very comfortable. You've got of course a lot of leg room, a lot of head room, more than the X1 and you can even recline your seat to the perfect spot in my opinion for long rides. You got three zone climate control which you can control from right here, a type C uh, charging port and a 12 volt charging socket. All in all the place is beautiful because there's a lot of space and a lot of light in from the uh, from the panoramic sunroof. There are some scratchy plastics here and there but hey I'd rather have space than some leather. Yep, the rear seating area of the X1 definitely isn't that spacious as the Tiguan nor do you have the reclining seats which is generally a big talking point. But just like the Tiguan, the X1 gets a big panoramic sunroof, charging points and a rear climate control too. When it comes to the front cabin, the BMW X1 is as premium as it gets in this segment. Everywhere you touch its premium materials, soft touch surfaces or some sort of polished metal surface or wood. It's a very nice place to be in. You get a big upgrade over the older uh, BMW X1 and since this is a tech edition, you get a 10.25 inch touch screen which has only unfortunately Apple car play but it definitely is more functional and you get the i drive scroller wheel which is very easy to use while driving uh, coming to the steering wheel this is a very old steering wheel you could probably see the steering wheel in the 2010 era of BMWs but it is completely passable because you get paddle shifters you have all of your cruise control functionality and other instrument cluster functionality on the steering wheel which is a very nice thing to have coming to the instrument cluster well it's kind of like a digital instrument cluster but it's not at the same time the tachometer and speedometer both are analog they just light up whenever you start the car but there is a digital screen in the middle and below it which is a very good feature to have so what's new 
well you've got a new digital instrument cluster and finally a new steering wheel the older steering wheel that we used to get in the tiguan was uh, a decade old steering wheel and it got quite boring quite quickly but this one is a breath of fresh air you've got the new logo and some new buttons and it feels really nice you've also got this new infotainment screen which is 8 inches and it has the new vw os which is very nice and also a new gear selector which feels really nice in your hands overall the interior of the tiguan is very nice and it's not much of a downgrade from the x1 yes it is a slight bit of a downgrade from the x1 this interior but everywhere you touch the quality of the leathers or the plastics are very good and wherever you place your hand you've got soft touch plastics which don't make it a bad place to be in and if you talk about features this is pretty much up there with the x1 so price difference maybe not worth it now both cars have their own drawbacks the x1 doesn't have android auto and compared to the shiny new tech of the tiguan has now started to show its age and the tiguan misses out on some really important features like wireless carplay and android auto and also no wireless charging pad ouch But where the Tiguan can boast quite a lot is in the engine department. It gets the 2-liter TSI engine producing 190 bhp and 320 Nm of torque. The 2-liter TSI has to be one of the most versatile engines out there, with it being featured in luxury sedans like the Audi A4, SUVs like this Tiguan, and even proper performance cars like the Octavia VRS and Golf GTI. Yes, The performance iterations don't really have the same 2 liter TSI. It is of course in a different state of tune with some different components, but at least we know that at the heart the Tiguan has some sporting credentials. Now weirdly the BMW X1 has quite a lot of sporty things going for it. For example, the engine which is a very integral part. This is a B48 inline 4 2 liter turbocharged engine and well this is the same engine that you can find in a Mini Cooper, a BMW 328i M Sport. and well the tuning potential is there it sounds really good for a family suv and that is the most weird thing about this car because when you actually floor it and if you listen it from the outside it sounds like a mini cooper that's how cool this thing sounds it makes 190 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque and well let's take it out for a spin to see how it drives Now the BMW X1 is just like any other BMW in the lineup. Well, super comfortable, very refined. It is a little bit more stiffer compared to the Tiguan, but that's a good trade-off when you want that cornering capability that a BMW is known for. Uh yes, it does not have the four motion all-wheel drive system like the Tiguan. Weirdly, the older uh X1 used to come with uh an X drive all wheel drive system that was only for the diesel variants and the M sport variants but this new X1 the facelift one only comes with front wheel drive and this is the 20i which means it has the 2 liter turbo four banger like i said it's a mini cooper derived engine it's very impressive how bmw has been able to keep the refinement and you know like the luxurious feeling of a bmw with this engine because in nature it's a very aggressive engine in a mini cooper especially and well The cool thing is if you click down the paddles a couple of times and floor the throttle it sounds like a mini cooper and this is the kind of cool little quirky stuff that car enthusiasts like us look for while buying a car and well all of this stuff is going to add up and well basically be what makes you choose between probably a Tiguan a GLA or even the X1 or if the Q3 ever comes in stock in India now when it comes to driving the Tiguan The Tiguan is powered by an E8888. It is a 2 liter TSI with a DQ381 which is a four wheel drive uh, gearbox. It pushes around 192 bhp and 320 Nm of torque and it makes it a very luxurious experience because it's very quiet. So it does pick up quite a lot of pace in a very hush sort of manner and it does feel very nice and it also uh matches the entire understated vibe to it because wherever you go you can actually be covering quite a lot of ground without making quite a lot of noise 
when it comes to the transmission being a four wheel drive uh drive train well it is a nice thing to have yes and i'm pretty sure it is uh, a front biased one so it's not going to be working uh as a four wheel drive car most of the time but uh when you come to think about it you're not going to be using it uh in your day to day life and most of the tiguans that are going to be sold in india are not going to be having to use the four wheel drive uh, motion but it is an suv and it should have four wheel drive because you never know when your suv might be tested now the tiguan trumps the bmw x1 by having six different driving modes three off road driving modes and three road driving modes Yes, the BMW also comes equipped with driving modes, but there are only three: Comfort, Eco Pro, and Sport. Yes, the Tiguan is definitely the more comfortable car. It wafts over potholes, it glides over speed bumps, and overall is definitely the more sensible bike. All in all, we know that the X1 and the Tiguan in their respective segments are creme de la creme. But when it comes to our final verdict, if luxury and a really nice dynamic sporty drive is your top priority then the x1 does make quite a lot of sense but if four wheel drive is your top priority then the tiguan does it much better because it's got four wheel drive and it does it in a much cheaper rate too 15 lakhs cheaper is that price difference even worth it but If you want a car which is similar in terms of luxury has in fact more technology and features than both of those cars over there the Skoda Kushak and VW Tiger make a ton of sense this one i bought for under 20 lakhs and that's why i bought this car got to agree with that